Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on the last part of Unit 3 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 4. And this part is aimed to test the students' understanding of the lesson. The first question in this part is asking us to write the missing number. So we have 100 minus something equals 58. To be able to answer this question, I'm going to solve one very easy one. Suppose if we have 12 minus 4, we get 8. Now we have 8, but we don't have 4. For example, if we have 12 minus something equals 8, we can simply subtract 8 from 12. We can write 12 minus 8 equals 4. So in this case, we have 100 minus something equals 58. The same way that we subtracted 8 from 12, we can subtract 58 from 100. So 100 minus 58 will be equal to something. If we subtract 50 from 100, the answer will be 50. If we subtract 40 from 100, the answer will be 60. Now, what number is subtracted from 100 so that it gives us 58? That number is 42. So if we subtract 42 from 100, we will get 58. So this question is solved. In question two, also it says, write the missing number. We have two plus 20 plus another number equals 100. 2 plus 20 is 22. And 22 plus 8 is 30. And 30 plus 70 is equal to 100. Now, 78 plus 20 plus 2 gives us 100. How? 78 plus 2 is 80. And 80 plus 20 is 100. Well, question 2 is also solved. In question 3, it says, a total of 245 chairs are needed for a school performance. 169 chairs are already in place. How many chairs need to be put in place? So a total of 245 chairs are needed and we already have 169 chairs. How many more chairs do we need? To find out how many more chairs we need, we can simply subtract 169 from 245. So we can write 245 minus 169. To solve this problem, I will use compose and decompose. So that you should understand how to compose a number and then solve it. Well, we have 245, so we can write 200 plus 40 plus 5. We decompose 245 into 200 plus 40 plus 5 minus 169. So 100 plus 60 plus 9. Now we can easily find out how many more chairs are needed if we find the difference between these two numbers. We know that we cannot subtract 9 from 5. If we regroup 10 from 40, we can get 15 in the ones place. So if we regroup 10, here we will have 30, and here we will have 15. Now 15 minus 9 is equal to 6. Well, again, we cannot subtract 60 from 30. We can regroup from the hundreds place. If we regroup 100 from here, 100 will be left in the hundreds place and we will have 130 in the tens place. Now 130 minus 60 will be equal to 70. And 100 minus 100 is nothing. So nothing will be left in the hundreds place. Now we can say that 245 minus 169 equals 70. 6 because 70 plus 6 is equal to 76. Well, this question is also solved. So a total of 
76 chairs are need to be put in place. So I can write here 76 chairs. Well, in question four, it says a school library has 387 books. They are given 79 books. How many books are there in the library now? Here we are asked to find the total. So we can write 387 plus 79 will be equal to a number that gives the total number of books in the library. So 7 plus 9 is equal to 16. We write 6 here and carry 1 about the tens place. 8 plus 7 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16 again 1 we carry above the 100 place and 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 so now there are 466 books in the library so we are done with question 4 in question 5 it says here are six digit cards we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 Use four of the digit cards to make this calculation correct. So a two-digit number plus another two-digit number will be equal to 60. In 60, in the ones place, we have zero. So we have to put in the ones place some numbers that can give us zero and 60 over here. So we can put six here and four here. 6 plus 4 is 10. And we have another one here. If we put 2 here, 3 here, we will get 60 right here. How? 6 plus 4 is 10. 0 of the 10 we write here. And carry 1 above the 10th place. Now, 3 plus 2 is 5. And 5 plus this one is 6. So the answer is 60. This one is also solved, so we used 2, 3, 4, and 6. Out of the 6 number cards or digit cards, we use 4 of them. Let's scroll down to move to question 6. In question 6, it says, Bashir is thinking of a number. He says, if I add 26 to my number, the answer is 95. What number is Bashir thinking of? Bashir says, I have a number. If I add 26 to it, the answer is 95. To find what number Bashir has had, we can subtract 26 from 95. So we can write, 95 minus 26. So 6 cannot be subtracted from 5. We borrow 1 from 9. This becomes 8. And this one becomes 15. And 15 minus 6 is equal to 9. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. So the number that Bashir has had is 69. 69 plus 26 is equal to 95. In question 7 it says find three examples to match the statement. The statement says the sum of three even numbers is even. So we have to show it by three examples. If we for example have a small numbers like 2 plus 6 plus 4 2 plus 6 is 8, and 8 plus 4 is 12. So this shows that if we add 3 even numbers, we get 12, which is an even number. The other ones that we can have is 8 plus 4 plus 12. 8 plus 12 is 20, and 20 plus 4 is 24. This one also shows that if we add 3 even numbers, we get an even number which in this case is 24. Another example that we can write is 10 
plus 2 plus 8. 10 plus 2 is 12, and 12 plus 8 is 20. So in all three cases, we got even numbers. So this statement is proved. Or we can say that this can be a general statement that suits all the given conditions. In the last question, which is question 8, it says, Alma says, when you add 4 to any number, the answer is always an even number. Is Alma correct? Explain how you know. Alma is not correct over here. For example, if we add 4 with 8, we get 12, which is an even number. But if we add 4 with 5, we cannot get an even number. We get 9. 9 is not even. 9 is an odd number. So in this case, we can say that Alma is not correct over here. And it says, explain how you know. How we know. We can see from the example that 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. So it shows that Alma is not correct. We cannot get an even number whenever we add any type of number with 4. So question 8 is also solved with question 8. We are done with the last part of Unit 3 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 4. And I hope it helps you learn how to use different tricks to add or to subtract numbers. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share the video with your friends, your classmates, and your students if you are a teacher. And please do not forget to ask if you have any questions about addition or subtraction or any other math problem. Have a nice time and thank you so much.